What's up y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from IG on 3 where we discuss software engineering by example. In this video we will learn how to spin off a quick MySQL database server on your laptop or on your machine using Docker because that's the best way if you want to experiment with the, with any really software or any database is to use like Docker where you can quickly just spin up a container that have a MySQL database or that have Postgre, Postgres database or that have any database or have any kind of software you can run quick test and then just spins it down and just destroy it without without polluting your laptop with with software that you can install and then later have to worry about uninstalling and take up resources and all that stuff right with that said let's just jump into the video i'm gonna use this video as a resource uh to do cool stuff later where we can connect to mysql from python or javascript or any other language right so this will be a video as a reference video that uh, you guys can use in order to spin up quickly a MySQL database with that same Let's just jump into the video. The first requirement for this video guys is You have to install docker. There is nothing simpler than that. Just go to docker Like literally google docker then docker.com and then or org and then just download docker for Mac or download docker for Windows then once you have it make sure you can do this right if you have no errors docker runs then you're good to go right if you could do docker run hello world works and then you're ready to go so let, let's just jump into the video so here's how you can spin up a, an a mysql server okay uh you will start with docker run because you want to run an, a new command okay uh, let's zoom in here so you can you guys see it right and then i'm gonna name my uh container right for 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 good purposes okay I'm gonna give it a name and then this name will be MySQL or MS or whatever right this is the name that you can do you, this is optional but it I really prefer it because we're gonna really uh, SSH into the container and do stuff with it we're gonna create a database we're gonna do all that stuff right so uh, dash name uh, MS the next thing we want to do is we want to set the port okay and the port the default port for mysql is 3306 okay okay and then you do that like that right and uh, let's just zoom here so you can see right so this is the port 3306 is the port running on the container 3306 is what are you going to expose so this part of the highlighted part can be uh, literally oh my god what have i done guys what have i done Okay, so the highlighted portion is can be anything you want. This is what you can expose for the currently the application, right? So you can change it like three 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 or whatever, but this has to be three three oh six. Okay, so that's just for for the sake of simplicity. Let's just say they are the same. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to set an environment variable. That's important. Dash e. Okay, so dash dash name ms port three three oh six colon three three oh six then dash e and then you have to say the environment variable in order to, for you to spin up the default password and that's called mysql root password and then you specify the password and let's get just think literally of any password and gonna call it yeah, password okay very secure top security level okay the final variable is the repo which is mysql okay and just like that guys let's run this and see what will happen and when we run this you see that the system is initializing and doing its all cool things okay and just like that that terminal is occupied now with your mysql server you can keep it like that okay and then you cannot use this terminal anymore so we're gonna spin up a new terminal like window uh, in order to do cool stuff with it too. We want to now go into this database server which we just spent the mini database server which we which you which we just spent and then we will essentially create a database and create a table and then just play with it a little bit okay. There is another way to, if you want to use the same terminal just do dash d which is detached right but you don't have to really so this is whatever is simpler okay i'm gonna use the i'm gonna list the commands here in the description below guys if you you don't have to remember any of that okay just like literally copy and paste and you're done all right so what are we gonna do here is now my my docker 
if you do docker ps you can see that i have one container that is named ms mysql and it's running and all good right so i'm gonna now ssh into the container i'm gonna bash into the container not ssh right I'm gonna enter, enter the container and then run mysql into the container in order to do that we have to do, use the command called docker execute and then dash interactive terminal i want an interactive terminal right i want to interact with this container which is which is like think of it as like a mini virtual machine all right and then once you have that what's the name of the container it's ms that's the name what we have named it right that's why i named i gave it a name if you don't give a name then you have to remember the container id and also it's just like ugly once you do that dash it and then finally is the command that you want to run and then you want to bash it okay bash is essentially the command terminal that you want to do and looks like we are in guys we are in okay let's clear up the terminal a little bit here and then what we're gonna do is run mysql okay mysql is the command okay that because we have mysql installed in this container obviously so we can run the mysql command and then in order to literally run the mysql command we need to log in as a user right and the default user is dash u root right and do you remember guys what's the password dash p and then the password was password and here's the trick guys don't i i got i got bitten by this a lot okay and then what you need to do is that dash p don't add a space after that immediately dash p just type the password okay and my password is literally password okay so you have to keep, uh, pay attention to this right otherwise it won't run okay my sql dash u root dash password and you are in my friends you are in okay now it says my sql you are ready to roll okay so what do we do what the first thing we do we're gonna create a database create database hussein db okay i'm gonna create a database called hussein db just like that we have created it successfully right looks good guys now i'm gonna use it use me use the database so we can switch oh just use us in db forgot about that okay now we changed the database right now this is my new database it's called hussein db and i'm in the database what we're gonna do is create a table create a table employees and all this is your this is your standard sql guys right so i'm gonna integer not null and then i'm gonna create a name for this employees table and this is called nullable no problem and then there is a primary key and then the primary key is id right and then close this thing and then just like that we have created a tie ball guys very simple table let's insert some rows into it insert into employees uh id name values it's good that we can enter and then uh, just write stuff in it and then this is one employee saying right let's add another employee if I try to write the same ID, I'm going to fail. So I'm going to do insert employees. Let's do Edmond, for example. Two. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we have three employees. Let's do select. Let's clear this out. And then we do select star from employees. And just like that, we all have the employees. Don't forget to commit, obviously, commit their changes. And don't don't ever spill this commit like this, like me, like an idiot. <laughs> right? So just like that, we are ready, right? So now you have a database running with a table and all that's kind of cool stuff, guys. Right? With that said, that's the end of the video. You believe like a, a few few if you're in this channel, consider subscribing. We have a whole kind of tutorials like that, and we discuss programming, we discuss databases, we discuss proxies, we discuss, we discuss uh, routers, anything related to software engineering. That particular interests me. I talk about it. And then if you like this video, give it a like, and uh, we're gonna see you in the next one, guys. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.